when I picked out all my schools, like I had a lot of choices. I could went to Waterloo, Queens, uh, Carleton, Ottawa U, all those schools. And I really thought about that a lot because I thought, okay, if I go to another university, Big Pond, am I really gonna stand out of those schools? Am I gonna, gonna be able to do all the things I wanna do? That was basically the big choice of why, like, why I chose to go to Laurentian and haven't looked back since. We won the Ontario Engineering Competition for Junior Design the year I started. Uh, we also had got second place in Ontario in Senior Design. We won both Junior and Senior Design at uh, the national competition that year. And this year, we won the Ontario Engineering Competition for Junior Design. One might look at a community of Sudbury, about 165, 170,000 people. Do we have an entrepreneurial tech startup culture? Well, we have the second largest node of Entrepreneurship 101 in the province of Ontario, second to only the Mars Discovery District in Toronto. Sudbury is on the mark. It's on the map and people are noticing. We have three great supporters in our, in our MPPs and MPs, which are all speaking the same language. We have alignment from provincial to federal with you know, what we're trying to do to, to encourage economic growth in our country as well as our, as our province. And then we have things coming down the pipeline in Northern Ontario, like Ring of Fire, that they realize that once it's up and going, we will have more economic support into uh, Canada as a whole. We have access to high net worth individuals, a, a burgeoning angel capital community, disproportionately higher than anywhere I've seen in the country. So now we have a, a flagship academic institution, once again generating exceptional talent, exceptional research. If we can stitch these components together, we can really accelerate the sustainable job and wealth of our community. First Nation people feel strongly about being stewards of the earth. And when I heard about this center, I kept thinking that maybe this is the way to, to help uh, uh, the biggest industry in our area, which is mining. Valet is a hundred year old mining company. And contrary to popular belief, mining is no longer being done by pick and, and shovel. Um, it's become very highly technical. Uh, we're shifting into more robotics, more use of uh, technology. And with that comes a requirement to train uh, not just our engineers, but also our employees and, and, and developing their skills uh, to meet this required need. To look at sustainable practices, to look at innovation, and also to uh, work closely with First Nation people to address those issues, I think we have value to offer to that process. But we need to have the skills. We need to have people that want to be here. We want to have them trained here, that they stay here. And they're starting to notice. Students that um, get this kind of exposure will be more inclined to stay and work. And that's a very important for, for an organization that employs 4,000 employees in the region. Um, that is critical to our, to our longevity and our ability to stay in business. So I think that having a center like this that'll produce more uh, Aboriginal uh, engineers, Aboriginal innovators, it's focused on diversity and reflecting the general population of Northern Ontario. You know, people can want to be educated here, but if they're not getting the pieces that organizations need, they will go elsewhere. So having a site like this, an opportunity for our community is huge because it will keep people here. So we've done so much at this point. I mean, we've won all these competitions and we've done it with the little stuff that we have, the few classrooms and the few labs that are outdated when you look at other universities. This investment makes a lot of sense. We are building a place that not only encourages and enables research, again, for both faculty and students alike, but there's a component of that is that is designed specifically by virtue of partnership with NORCAT to help these individuals think about starting a company and or scaling a tech venture that will result in meaningful and sustainable job and wealth creation. Again, not only for our region, but our country more broadly. Imagine what we could do with state-of-the-art labs if we could actually get kids from 
more kids from all over the place just to come to the Lantern because of our great technology. Imagine all the competitions that we'd be able to win. We'd actually be able to have all this theory and all this background and all this stuff and actually apply it and be able to go into the industry with all this knowledge. I mean, we'd be a step ahead of the game from everybody else. Imagine all the stuff we'd be able to achieve if we actually had good facilities. I mean, we'd only be limited by creativity.